session of Ansys Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a circular tube for non-linear buckling analysis. We have already seen 3D buckling analysis. Today, we are going to analyze by using 2D method. So, we will start by double clicking on static structural. I'm not changing the engineering data. I'll leave it to structural steel. You can change it to any other material that you are supposed to solve for. I'll go to geometry, right click, new design modular geometry, units, millimeter, xy, look at, I'll go to sketching and I'll draw a line. I'll give it some dimension. Say it is 400 mm. I'll go to concept, lines from sketches. I select the sketch one, apply, generate. Now I need to give a cross section to this line. So I'll go to concept, cross section, circular tube. The radius is 10 mm and 20 mm. I'll leave it to as it is. I'll go to line body and I'll choose circular tube okay if you want you can just change this to say 15 mm so this is done next i'll go to model and double click on it i'll go to mesh I'll change the sizing to fine and update. You can see the geometry in 3D figure. But actually the geometry is still 2D. You can go to geometry and click the line body. You can see this is how your geometry looks like. Next I'll go to analysis settings. I'll choose point. On this vertex I'll insert fixed and on the top portion, I'll insert force. I'll change vector to component. Along the y-axis, I'll apply a load of 5000 Newton. I'll go to solution and insert deformation directional. I want to see the deformation along the y-axis. And I want to see the stress. Now in 2D, you cannot directly find equivalent stress. So you will have to go to beam tool and insert beam tool in beam tool you can see direct stress minimum combined stress and maximum combined stress over the body so i'll go to solution and solve so here you can see this is the directional deformation this is the direct stress and this is the combined stress over the body now you have analyzed this for a linear analysis, we will go to buckling analysis. We will first see how the buckling happens for the linear model and then we will change it for non-linear. So, I will go to eigenvalue buckling and I will drag it over the solution. I will go to setup and double click on it. Here in the analysis setting, there are two modes. So I can change this to three or more number of modes that you want to see the results for. I'll go to solution and solve. So these are the three modes. I'll right click, select all, create mode shape results. I'll go to solution and solve. So this is the first deformation that I see. This is of linear type. You can see the load multiplier is 19.522. So you'll have to multiply it with 5000, whatever value you get at that load, this kind of buckling can be seen. Now second deformation is of this form, it has just changed its direction. And this is the third one, the load multiplier here is 167.56. So this is the linear load multiplier that I have seen. Again, I want to change this to non-linear. So, I'll go to analysis settings of static structural. Auto time stepping. I'll change it to on. I'll define by sub-steps. 
So I'll change initial substeps to 10, minimum substeps to 5, and maximum substeps to 25. I will change the large deflections to on. And the solver type is going to be direct. So these all are going to incorporate non-linearity into the system. So I'll go to the solution now and solve. This is the total deformation. This is the total deformation 2. And this is the third one. You can see here, this is the directional deformation which I have got for non-linear analysis. Now here, what I can do is, I can also insert another force, say on this body. So at this point, I'll insert a force, say along the z-axis. Minus 10,000. I'll go to the solution and solve it. Let's check the directional deformation. This is the static structure analysis. This is the direct stress over the body. This is the minimum combined stress and maximum combined stress over the body. This is the first deformation due to buckling now. Okay, you can see a negative load multiplier. So I'll just go to analysis settings and here include negative load multiplier. I'll change it to no and solve it again. I'll go to total deformation one. This is how it is going to deform. This is the second deformation. And this is the third one. This load multiplier is 35.629. So that's how you analyze a circular tube for non-linear buckling analysis. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.